Here's an easy heart drawing that anyone can make. It may look kind of fancy, but it's really just a bunch of squiggly lines going around some hearts over and over again. Follow along with me and I'll show you how easy it is to do. Step number one. All you need to make this project is my printed template with three hearts on it and some good colored pencils. A pencil sharpener comes in handy too. If you don't have my template, you can just draw three hearts kind of like you see here. Step number two. We begin by filling in the hearts to make them a solid color. I'm gonna make this top one bright red, and I find it does help to outline them first and then color them in. The second heart is going to be purple. I'm making the lines go to the edge of the paper and continuing that outline, and then coming back and filling the color in really well. The bottom heart is going to be orange, but you can certainly color these any way you want. I'm outlining this heart too, and I recommend that you color slowly to make sure that these hearts are filled in with lots of solid color. Step number three. Now feel free to sharpen your pencil often from here on out, because we're just going to make lots of squiggly lines around all of these hearts. I'm starting with an orange one around the red heart, you can make the squiggles any size you want, skinny, fat, wide, or close together. Whatever you do though, just try to keep the same style going with all the other hearts too. When the first heart is outlined, then go on to the next one. I'm gonna pair up a light blue with this purple heart. Start anywhere you want, just make a squiggle outline here, just like you did on the first heart, and continue until your line is finished all the way around. The last heart on the bottom, I've decided, is going to be paired with a pink color. The line is going to go off the page a bit. Just do your best to make it look like the other two squiggle lines, too. Step number four. Now it's time to go back to that first heart. I'm making an AB color pattern, so it's time for a red squiggle around the orange line. Now the middle heart gets a purple line around the blue one. And the bottom heart gets an orange line around the pink one. Step number five. Okay, it's time for another round of lines. Go back to the first heart and add another one. Some of your lines may start to go off the page now, but that's a good thing because it means you're filling things up. And the middle heart gets another squiggle line around it. You can work in short segments like I'm doing here. Just remember the goal is to have the lines point away from the heart. Finally, add another line around the bottom heart. I think that's going to be pink to continue that color pattern. Step number six. By now your hearts might be starting to bump into each other a little bit. When that happens, don't worry, you just stop and jump over whichever one is in your way. My purple line, for instance, is going to stop for that red line. It will actually end up making this heart look like it's behind the other one. From here on out, you can just add more squiggle lines as you choose. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Different choices will just mean that one heart looks like it's in front of the other, that's all. Do try to make your lines similar though, because if you do, your drawing will end up having a nice kind of visual rhythm to it. And that, my friend, is how you make an easy heart drawing, which would make a very pretty Valentine card, don't you think? At Art Projects for Kids, there are more than 700 art lessons just like this one. Over the years, they've helped millions of kids learn how to draw. You can find a project for how to draw a rose and a Valentine teddy bear. I hope you give those projects a try too. See you next time.